Well, it's another glorious Saturday. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just coming up to about 11.30 um, and I'm back out on the old stubble field on my old permission. Um, the, the permission of real oldness, so the uh, 16 years ago, um, I'll be getting back on that most be next weekend. Um, over the road, still all deep ploughed and not harrowed because it's just been too wet. So that just forces me onto this area uh, where I wouldn't be here anymore if that had been ploughed, but uh, you know, because I'm forced to, who knows what's going to come up? Well, first signal, uh, <laughs> just just where I always start, um, you know, <laughs> it's uh, it's always paced to just keep going over the same old area, and it's looking like quite a nice little thimble. Uh, let's have a look. It's complete, and it's not squashed. There you are. Yeah, not bad. It's got a different uh, pattern on the top, like a checker pattern. It's a bit traditional, yeah, it's definitely... Um, Victorian, but uh, yeah, okay, let's move on. Well, it's uh, 45 minutes on and uh, I've had a few uh, buttons, of course, um, and then up comes this cracking great big signal, uh, bronze halfpennies and pennies really too, uh, in the high 70s, and it's a ship's halfpenny of 1951, so a George VI, um, and that's, uh, that's okay, uh, but it could get better, let's hope it will. And you know, really, uh, you know, finds will be a bonus today because it's absolutely gorgeous. That's where I saw the uh, muntjac deer uh, last weekend. Um, and I'm just sort of wandering around in the field because the stubble in some places is just too high. So it's forcing me to find little patches and then I just thoroughly do those areas. Well, the old detector's on form today. That's 10 inches down there, right down in that hole. I had an 80. And um, yeah, it's a lovely big bronze penny. And there he is. There's George V, and it's a 1920s, have a look, what have we got on there? 1921 penny, and it's not in bad condition actually, so um, it's just coming up to lunchtime. It hasn't been a fantastic morning, but uh, it could have been worse. Oh, and the sun's just coming out. Lovely. That's a bonus. Well, I've just had my lunch, and uh, just first swing for after lunch, and I've uh, got a nice 72 in there. So I thought, let's unveil this one together. Let's see what we've got. Okay, it's in here. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, well, uh -huh. that's not a wartime one either. That's a, I think that's a modern 303. Oh, well. Well, I just had a AC, AC1. I thought, well, you know, that's mostly got to be lead. And I've just was searching with the old pinpoint. Saw is a little bit of silver. Well, it looks like silver. What have we got? It's a button. But it's a nice button. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Just get that for there you go. Oh, well, it just seems that um, it's going to be just buttons for me this season. That's really lovely. Look, it's got a, it's got a three sort of um, ovals like a petal, and then and they're made up of dots. And then we've got these lovely linear lines going off in each direction. That's a really nice one. And I've got a feeling that's mostly a good, well, that's a good coating of silver on the top there. It's not solid. You can see that from the back. That's great. Well, it's been a, it's a long old day, and, uh, but it wouldn't be the same without a buckle. And that's just what I've just found. It's a lovely little Georgian buckle. Um, it looks, could have been a lady's shoe buckle. You've got these two little pins here. See, so the central bar is... Uh, actually fixed in here that would have lift made that allowed these to come up and to slip into ribbon most probably uh, and that's that's lovely it's not uh, not decorative at all but uh, it's definitely a George and shoe buckle I'd say and uh, that's smashing well you know just down there is just where I found that little um, George and buckle and I did but this is this is just got to be called by dandy field this is the second stubble field and that's where i found the dandy buttons down there uh, a couple of weeks ago or was it just last week oh i don't know um and uh, just just dug up just come up to the top here and it's still very georgian because we've got another piece of um buckle georgian buckle 
So uh, we've just got to find some complete ones. Um, a little bit further up here, last winter, actually I dug up a lot of um, tokens, about 10 or so uh, lead tokens, all around Tudor period. So, you know, I've certainly got ac activity here from Tudor right through to, uh, you know, sort of 18th century around here. So uh, let's crack on, got another hour or so, and see if I can improve on today's finds. Well, six hours uh, since I started here, it's actually 5.30 now, um, I'm down back with the old corn that uh, offers cover to the uh, the pheasants and there's a few out there actually just they just pop it out there's one there's another little pheasant there um and uh well, what have we found um there it is there's a little roundup so it's your usual you know there's my ship's half penny and there's a uh, another one's got absolutely nothing on it at all slightly earlier there's my George VI, 1921 penny. It's got a nice patination, actually. The obligatory buttons, uh, yeah. Um, and a nice little thimble, and, but a nice button. Look at that. I'm really pleased with that one. And, um, you know, a nice button and a nice buckle. And really, you know, that makes it a day for me. Um, and, uh, but I don't think I'm going to be doing any more of this old stubble. Um, you know, they're going to be harrowing soon across the road. Uh, it's just, they're just waiting for the weather to dry up a little bit. Uh, so I'm hoping next weekend I should be over there and really digging up, well, a lot more rubbish, <laughs> um, but also some really special stuff, hopefully. So uh, see you then. Mm -hmm.